All right, so I've been able to get the box out of the, the bag, which needed to be cut open. We're going to see if we can take a look inside. One-handed. Mm, foam. Instructions. Is that going to focus? Yes. So I saw many of these available on Amazon, but very few were simple like this that only has the power hookup for the monitor and the power cable for the camera. Many of them had the extra RCA phono plugs hanging off of them for other video inputs for wiring things in and I didn't want anything like that. I wanted completely wireless so that's why I went with this one. This one in Canada was $77 and some cents in change before our extraordinarily high sales tax of 13% here in Ontario. <clears throat> that looks like the monitor. I suppose we're hiding accessories and they are. All right, so uh, there's the power. Handy to plug it right in to a uh, cigarette lighter with a a push switch to turn it on and off. Unless you're going to use it with a switched 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter. I have one of each in the car. Um, the other one that's switched is powering my front video camera. So, what else do we have? <clears throat> looks like the camera itself let's leave that for now what else is in the box a base okay that seems it's rigid it's metal it's likely aluminum it's very light it's uh, got some sort of a black coating on it it's either paint or an anodizing and it's got places for screw holes but Mm, I, like many, probably do not want to screw this into our upper dash panel. But they provide a double-sided sticky foam pad, which I likely also will not use because in the heat of the summer, when I'm intending to use my cargo trailer uh, hauling my motorcycle and equipment in it, these will be up on the dash right under the windshield which gets very hot and um, sticky things on dashes in the summertime uh, get very tacky and fall away and here we've got oh yes this one comes with a um, hand remote control uh, i'm not sure that i really have a lot of use for that but it's there two antennas and the interfacing power cables. There's one for the camera and one for the monitor if you choose to wire it in. Well, that makes the box flip up. Let's put that back in there. Can I wiggle it out? Yes. So this is like a nice hard ABS plastic body or it's metal, I'm not sure. Any writing? <clears throat> 12 to 24 volts. Car wireless camera. Okay. Bottom bracket and a sunshade. Mm, looks neat. So since I don't have the trailer yet, I'm in preparation mode, I will be doing a test. Let's see what the screen looks like. This might be a little more difficult to do one-handed. <clears throat> All right. 
It's got a protective plastic on it. Seems nice. I'm doing this on my stove. And you can see my reflection. TFT color monitor. Got a bunch of buttons on the bottom. Can we focus and see what that says? Apparently not. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Come on, stay in the picture. Yeah, there's two inputs for this. You can use two cameras. There's a volume control. I'm not sure what that's for. And a menu. And a power on off button. And a button to switch between uh, video inputs. On the back, just kind of slides into a mount. Hook up the antenna. Oh, look, they're speakers. I guess that's what the volume is for. Although I don't know where the audio would be coming from on this system yet. Maybe I'll read the instructions. I will be using it in a constant on mode while driving. This will help replace the rear view mirror uh, that will be obstructed by a trailer behind my truck. So looking at the instructions, Number five says, mount the camera to the license plate with two screws. Obviously, they're using uh, some form of a generic instruction, which is likely meant for a unit that has a license plate camera. This is not. And then in troubleshooting section, it says, please turn off their FM radio. That would be a bummer. Bluetooth, that would be a bummer for my phone communications. I don't have any Wi-Fi in the truck, but we'll see whether or not my FM radio and Bluetooth have any significant effect on this as we get to the testing part. Um, also number five in this section says keep the monitor and camera at least the distance of two meters, about 78.7 .7 inches. That's a little over six feet. Uh, otherwise the camera and monitor will interfere with each other and it has some night vision LEDs so good food for thought after setting everything up in the truck this is a picture of the monitor that I received from the camera that was sitting out on the back of the tailgate of my truck it looks pretty good. I did notice that while the FM radio was on at somewhat different angles of position, some interference did show on the monitor. In retrospect uh, to the test, I think I'm going to hang this monitor from my passenger side visor as it is possible to invert the video. The other issue I found was the antenna on the back of the monitor was not able to sit up completely vertical because of the angle of the windshield over the dash and this is on a Ram truck. So the visor seems to be the best place to put it.